Hey, it's Bart with the Scotch Test Dummies, and I'm coming to you with a one-off because Scott and I have been planning to do it live for some time, and we just haven't gotten to it. And the reason we wanted to do it live is we had some samples that we don't normally review on the show, but we like this one so much we wanted to do it in a live where we'll often do samples. And this is the Signatory Ace pick so ace spirits so i'm going to go into some details and i'll taste it and give you my notes so there's just a hey um here's some samples uh they actually didn't ask for us to review them on the show they just uh emailed and said can we send them to you absolutely and then uh said hey big big fan of uh the scotch test dummy show cheers from the ace team so um that won't stand up right let's try one more time Nope. So some of the stats distilled in 1995. That's the year I started the police department. So that was kind of, kind of cool. 27 years old. That's why we only got a little sample. Uh, distilled date 620 of 95. Bottle date 829 of 22. Matured in a hogshead. Cast number is a little scary. 6669. All right. I might have opted for the 6689. <laughs> Unchill filtered, thank you, good. Cast strength, awesome, at 58.8%. And here's the kicker, if you find this, uh, it's supposed to be going for $280 a bottle, but again, oh my, it's good. So, um, and again, hopefully, Bruno will forgive me, we wanted to do a live, but with our schedules, we just had not been able to, and I felt like, hey, let's get this out there, because as life goes, this could just slide along, I'm pouring a little bit more, and uh, we did get two samples, so I'm just dipping into my sample, not Scott's, he'll still have his, um, but I love things that come from Signatory, they're so uh, delicious, that it's always nice to help get the word out. I know these can be hard to find, but if you see it and you've seen a little blip, a little blip from the dummies, you might be like, all right, I'm going to pull the uh, $280 trigger and get it. <laughs> so let's see. Ah, so the nose, it's got a fruit, like a fruity vanilla stick. Ah, but a, a clean kind of refreshing not quite as citrus, but like a light fruit scent. And then that vanilla, almost a little honeysuckle in there too. It's got the salivation going, salivation. Don't know why I went along with that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Wow. I get a citrus right away. It lingers around. Wow. A little bit of mango coming through there. So these fruits are just all over, like a sugared mango. Peach, peach is coming through there as well. Mm. Wow. And, and then in the finish, vanilla, like a sweet vanilla, a honeyed sweet vanilla coming through that's kind of thick and clinging to the cheek. And then the citrus gives you one last little like effervescent and then it's gone. And I get these little, almost like graham cracker crust finish notes. And maybe like, like a peach pie touch with that crust. But usually I don't have a graham cracker crust with peach pie, but well, whatever, that's what I'm getting here. So, um, so again, this is the, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to butcher the name, Glen Bergie, G-L-E-N-B-R-G-I-E, -E, Signatory Ace Pick. Man. Um, again, home run. Wanted to put a little tidbit out on this. This one is an unbelievably good fruity flavorful peach mango vanilla extravaganza with a graham cracker crust scotch it you scotch gods bruno still got his sample i don't know may get lost hmm, maybe <laughs>